In this tutorial, we're going to create a new Wix website for non-traditional blog entries. Uh, I'll explain in a little bit. After you've logged into Wix, uh, go up to the right hand side and click on create new site, like so. And then what kind of website do you want to create? Well, we're going to click other, of course. Then choose a template. Sorry, that was a little bit quick. And then from here, we're going to go to blank templates. Okay. Now, what I suggest you do here is go to the one page layout. All will be explained very shortly. Uh, click on edit, let it load. Might take a couple of seconds and we can talk about what we're going to do. So we're just going to have a one page Wix website. Um, we're going to delete almost all of the features already inside this template. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean. But before we do any of that, I need you guys to go ahead and click save and give it a appropriate name for this project. So I do believe it is an IDU. So I'm going to put in grade six IDU. Uh, don't worry about putting in your name because it will be probably already covered if you've signed up for a free school account in here. All right. Click save and continue when you're ready. And then you can hit publish as well up here. Oh, before we do that, I'm just going to click this little guy, press done and then publish. I think we're good to go. Nope, nearly there. And then press done again. Okay. I did mention earlier we're going to delete some of the other features. And we're going to do that right now. So for instance, this we do not want. Just get rid of it. We're going to go straight into the website whenever people load it. Okay. And then we're going to Okay, I did mention earlier that we're going to delete a lot of the features in here. The ones that we're going to keep, however, it's these parts here. This bit, apart from the button, get rid of it now. And the about, everything else we're going to delete. Okay, there's different ways of doing this. Uh, I'll show you a couple. You can just go one by one if you want, or uh, you can highlight them all, like so. Okay, there's not that much in here. That's why I chose this one. So I'm just getting rid of all these until you're all done. Okay, there's not too many, like I said. Oh, this one. Okay, back up again. Right, we're going to come to this a little bit later, um, but we're going to reuse these bits over and over again. That'll be explained in another video. Okay, so let's go back up here. So let's give it a name. Uh, there is only one page, so normally you find that here, so you can just delete that. Or we can put in, tell you what, Instead of that, let's put in, let's edit that, rename, let's put SAS. And then here, so we're going to edit the text. And again, something appropriate, it could be similar or the same as your domain name, for, for instance. So I'm just going to put in for now, grade six IDU. Okay, you might want to put in uh, your first or last name. Uh, it depends on what your uh, teacher needs to identify you by. Okay, so it could be your user ID, for example. So I'm just going to put in a few question marks. Or a few, nope, not forward slices, a few question marks for now. All right. And of course, you can play around with the different settings if you want to make it a little bit more uh, just different and so on. So we've covered those in the formatting settings in previous tutorials. So once you've done that, you can then put a very little bit, uh, little, sorry, a quick bit of text explaining a little bit about yourself. Okay, so we can change the title to about me, oops, about me. And then you can write a little bit about yourself or even about the project. Okay, once you've done that, um, this is the main section. And what we're going to treat each of these, and you'll see in the next video, is each of these will act as a blog entry. Okay, this is different to normal blog entries. Um, in fact, there are different ways to do this project. I mean, you can actually go and start blogging, but there are a couple of limitations. So for example, uh, you can only upload video and audio if you have a YouTube, Vimeo, or some other kind of uh, social media or platform that allows you to share videos like that. So instead, 
we're going to do slightly differently. And we'll cover that in the next tutorial.